Today, I'll be going over the top 10 VS Code extensions that you need to make your VS Code go from this to this. Need to beautify a file? No problem, all it takes is a simple click. Need to see the CSS styles for a particular HTML element fast? Boom, check the CSS without switching files. Get ready to be way more productive with my top 10 extensions for VS Code. Stay tuned until the end for my favorite extension of them all. The first extension is going to be the material theme extension. So currently you can see my VS Code looks like this. You know, it doesn't look, doesn't look too pretty. We search for the material theme in the extensions and it's gonna be the top one right here, material theme, and you're just gonna click install. As soon as you install it, you can see that my theme has changed completely. So if I go back now to my file, you can see I have different colors here and different background. So with this material theme, you can also set the different color themes. So for example, if I didn't like this black, I could set it to the default material theme theme, which looks like this. It's kind of ugly, it kind of hurts my eyes. Um, so if I go back here, I actually like it to be darker, high contrast, and this is what it's gonna look like. You know, it looks pretty good. So this extension brings Google's awesome theme into VS Code. It features 10 different color schemes that you can set for your IDE. It'll turn your IDE from ugly to beautiful, and everyone's gonna be asking how you got your IDE to look like this. It even has a light theme for all you light theme users. I mean, crackheads. Oh, Jesus Christ, how do you code like this? You can also change the different color settings by pressing Command Shift P, or on Windows, I think it's Windows Shift P. Um, and then you're gonna just click right here, material theme, set accent color, and then you can change the different colors. So if I wanted orange, for example, it will actually change like the little accents here to orange. And to show you again, you can also change it to lime, for example, and you can see now it's like a nice green. And you can also override color scheme colors here. So if you go into your theme settings and change it here, it has a tutorial on how to do that. Um, this is a little more in depth if you want that type of control. Number two is the material icon theme. If you use the material theme, then you definitely need this material icon theme. So let's install it and see what it does. Currently, my files look like this. You can see these are folders. When I install the material icon theme and I set the Visual Studio icon theme to material icon theme, you can see now that every folder has its own little icon and it uses the names of the folders to actually determine what to show. So for example, if I wanted to change this to DB, you can see that it changes it to a database icon. And it looks much better than just these arrows that you have previously. So yeah, if you use the material theme, you definitely need this icon theme to come with it. A third extension is the Better Comments extension. And as the name suggests, this will allow you to write more detailed comments. So I have a test JavaScript file here and a normal comment would look something like, you know, hello world console log, right? So it's just like this gray comment that doesn't really stand out. Now, if I wanted to make it more important with better comments, you can just add a star after the slash slash, boom, it'll make it green. And if I wanted to write a multi-line comment, you can do slash star star. And then you can see it's just gray again, kind of boring. If I wanted to give like a more alert or warning, you can use an exclamation point and be like depreciated method, don't use. And it'll be this really bright red that looks really nice. And also you can structure these multi-line comments with other stuff. So question mark would be blue. You know, should I print hello world like this? Um, then you can also do this like to do you know, refactor this hello world print statement. So yeah, this will make your comments stand out and can be more useful when you're developing. The next extension is gonna be Remote SSH. This is made by Microsoft, but this extension lets you use VS Code on any server or any computer. So let's install it here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right after installing, you'll notice on the bottom left, you'll get these two little arrows and the caption is open a remote window. So when you click on that, you'll get these options, connect to host, connect current window to host, SSH configuration file getting started. So if I wanted to connect to a host, I would click connect to host, and now let me add one. Now I'm gonna add one of my school servers to demonstrate this. So SSH and then the host you want to connect to. And you can also specify SSH specific commands here as well. So once you press enter, 
you can save it to a configuration file and then it will say host added and you can click connect. It's gonna open a new window for you and then it'll tell you, you know, this has a fingerprint this, so you sure you wanna continue? And then it'll prompt you with a password or depending on how you have your remote server set up. If you have an SSH key pairing already, you might not need to enter a password. So I'm gonna enter my password here and it's gonna open remote. It'll download the VS Code server on the remote and install it as well. It might take a while for your first time. Okay, boom, now we're connected. If you look at the bottom here, it'll say SSH and then your host. So if I click open, it'll actually show all the files on that host. So now I'm editing on the host. So yeah, really cool extension, very useful. So you can use your Visual Studio Code IDE on any computer from any computer with an SSH connection. The fifth extension is gonna be Live Server. So it has 28 million downloads because it's very popular, but basically this will let you launch a local server with a live reload feature inside of Visual Studio Code. So normally you could just run live server in your terminal after installing it as a node package and it will do the same thing as this, but this is actually an extension that lets you do it from your IDE. So let's click install here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that it's installed, let's just create a simple HTML file here. We're just gonna do test HTML file live server. And then let's add in the body here, this is a live server and save that. And at the bottom here, you can see a button that says go live. So you're gonna click that and boom, it's just gonna open your HTML file and serve it just like that. Very easy, you don't need any setup. You don't need to do anything with your terminal. So very simple, very cool. All right, the next extension is gonna be prettier and it's a code formatter. So basically what this is gonna do is it's going to allow you to beautify a lot of code very fast. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So after installing it, Let's go to my index.html file and let's say it was all fucked up like this. You know, I had all these like, just nothing was tabbed right, nothing spaced right. And so now all you have to do is do Windows Shift P or Windows Shift P and then hit format document. And then it might ask you to configure a default formatter. So you can click configure and you can select your prettier right here and boom, it put everything back as it is and you can see it prettified it so yeah, you can change this indentation to four if you'd like in the settings and it tells you how to do that down here. So yeah, very useful. It also works on JavaScript and other stuff as well. So if you can see, I just formatted it and boom, it looks nicer now. So yeah, very useful, very useful for beautifying your code. I use this all the time for React because you know the code can get messy with all the JSX and the HTML mixing together. So our next extension is gonna be Git History. And this will allow you to view git log, file history, compare branches and commits, and it will really help you with your git stuff in Visual Studio. So let's install it and see. So now that we've installed it, we can test it out. Again, Command Shift P or Windows Shift P. So you can go to any of your files and do git view file history and then boom you can see here that it has all the commits and changes it really gives you an expansive view of your git commits and git history and it also gives you a bunch of stuff you can do like you can soft reset hard reset to commit tag it make a new branch compare etc etc there's also a ton of other git commands you can use here so yeah very useful very useful extension for managing your git history the next extension is called CSS Peak. So let's install it. And this will allow peaking a CSS ID in class strings as definitions. So basically it'll allow you to see CSS is applied to a specific element while you're coding. So to give you an example here, when I go to an HTML or like HTML templated file, like EJS file. So for example, you can just hold command or control and click on this and it'll jump you straight to the CSS definition. And I can do that with pretty much anything over here. So like dark gray text, boom, jumps right here. Very useful for fast editing. The ninth extension is called Colorize. And as it says, this is an extension that helps you visualize CSS colors in files. So let's install it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's go to a CSS file here. You have all these style CSS and you see that any color now that I have, whether it's hex or just a name red, it'll show up here as the color so you can actually see you know what the color looks like it's very useful it even works with transparent stuff like this now i think my favorite extension is one called indent rainbow and as it says in the title this will actually add rainbows to your indents so what i'm saying is it'll be like this 
So that's one indent. And let's say I wanted another one and another one and another one. So it makes this like rainbow pattern. And it kind of helps you see how many indents you actually have. And I think, I think it looks cool and it also helps with the indents. So I've used this extension a lot. And this is my favorite extension, honestly. Like it's just, just got a rainbow here. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, those are my top 10 VS Code extensions. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Peace.